vector multiplication today we will discuss about vector multiplications we can multiply two vectors by two different ways the first one is dot product and another one is cross product in this video we will discuss about dot product let us consider a vector a and a vector b with components a1 a2 a3 and b1 b2 b3 respectively then a dot b is defined by a1 b1 plus a2 b2 plus a3 b3 the dot multiplication is called a scalar multiplication because the dot product or dot multiplication takes two vectors as its inputs and gives a scalar outputs now we will see an example let a and b be two vectors with components 1 minus 2 and the another components 0 1 then a dot b is equal to minus 2 that is a scalar now we will discuss about some properties of vector dot products first the dot multiplication or dot product is commutative that is a dot b is equal to b dot a the vector dot product satisfies the distributive law that is a dot b plus c is equal to a dot b plus a dot c third c a dot b is equal to c a dot b is equal to a dot c b where c is a scalar fourth a is equal to mod a square and the last 0 dot a is equal to 0 where 0 is a zero vector now let a and b be two vectors and theta be the angle between a and b then a dot b is equal to mod a mod b cosine of theta therefore cos theta is equal to a dot b by mod a mod b let us see another example let a is equal to 1 0 0 b a vector and b is equal to 1 1 0 b another vector then what is the angle between these vectors mod a is equal to root over 1 square plus 0 square plus 0 square that is 1 and mod b is equal to root over 1 square plus 1 square plus 0 square is equal to root 2 and a dot b is equal to 1 into 1 plus 0 into 1 plus 0 into 0 that is 1 then the previous formula a dot b is equal to mod a mod b cos theta gives us that cos theta is equal to 1 by root 2 that is theta is equal to 60 degree now what is the orthogonal vectors if the angle between two vectors a and b is 90 degree then they are called orthogonal vectors in this case a dot b is equal to 0 because cos 90 